We are pleased to welcome you aboard this El Al flight. On behalf of El Al, the captain and the crew, we wish you all a pleasant flight. El Al, it's not just an airline, it's Israel. <laughs> Looking back at Earth, that's home. That's where all human beings pretty much live. Yes, that little tiny ball. In the words of Ilan Ramon, looking back out of the window of my spaceship after launch, I saw the world as a little teeny tiny ball and couldn't figure out how it is that people don't get along. To the moon is a tricky thing. You see, there are only three countries that have ever sent to the moon. The United States, Russia, and China are the only countries to have ever landed on this very surface. When Neil Armstrong first landed on the moon, he had a bet with Buzz Aldrin, and they discussed what was he going to say to the world when he stood here and looked at the moon for the first time. And in his words, he planned on telling the world, this is one small step for man and one giant leap for Neil. It was all about him. He was proud of himself and his successes. And when he stepped on the moon and he looked around and he realized how unbelievable the world that Hashem created is he said he was almost choked to tears, and he couldn't finish the sentence. And he said this... That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh, that looks beautiful for radio. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He was so moved and so touched. I heard the story when I was visiting NASA in a recording from him, and he described the feeling of standing here on the moon as the most awe-inspiring moment a person could ever imagine to realize the power of the world that Hashem created. Only he used the word God, not Hashem. Yesterday, for the first time, Israel launched a rocket from Cape Canaveral headed to the moon. It is only the fourth country to go to the moon, and it is the first time that a private, non-government funded rocket was launched to the moon. Unbelievable. Yes, Israel to the moon. Flight. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero, ignition. Do a break, put you down range. Stage over pulse is normal.
Now our telemetry is nominal. So at T plus 47 seconds into flight, everything is looking nominal. We're currently preparing to throttle down as we enter max Q. Vehicle supersonic. I'm shooting for the moon tonight. I ride the winds at the speed of light. I set my goals. I made my mind. Nico. And there on your screen, you can see that the second engine, second stage engine, has lit the gorgeous red orange glow of that nozzle. We're now at T plus three, and a, three minutes and five seconds into flight. Here on the moon, there's really not much gravity, and it's pretty easy just to, to hang out and kind of float around, you know, it's just really amazing. You know what's so cool about this rocket launch from Israel is that the rocket itself is called the Bereshit from the beginning, because at the beginning Hashem created everything. And along with them, they brought a little CD, a disc, of all of Tanakh to leave here on the moon digitally. The expected moon landing space shuttle from Israel is hopefully in April, let's look forward to hearing about and seeing that amazing and historic landing on the moon. See you next time on Artsenu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Eretz Yisrael. Shalom.